Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Pricing models, why would you care? Well, again, it's about probabilities. It enables traders, practitioners to predict the likelihood of events to occur. Option pricing models are based on the premise that stock prices are random and they can't be predicted. Many of us, we believe we can predict with some degree of accuracy, whether you use fundamental analysis, technical analysis, um, and that's why you prefer to trade. You're trading options. You might have a view on a certain currency, uh, and you, you believe that over a certain period of time, the options give you a great risk reward. Option values are based on a bell-shaped normal distribution. Lots of questions rolling in. I encourage all of you to type any questions, because at the end of the presentation, I will handle all of your questions, as many as I can, of course. Are the markets efficient? Well, there is a theory called the efficient market hypothesis, or the efficient market theory. It assumes that the market fully reflects all available information. But what about periods of excess volatility, pricing bubbles, and the occasional chaos of the market? We saw chaos uh, in late 2008, or actually most of 2008 and uh, early 2009. So the market can be very, very volatile from time to time. Famous statistician George Cohen Box once said that all models are, they are wrong, but some are useful. Pricing models, they help form your expectations. Again, I think that's why you're all here today. I'll be talking about using a model and how that hopefully will help you uh, implement, implement trades, but maybe even more important than that is understand the follow-up plan, the idea of when you might want to close out your trade or when you might want to alter it in some other way. The goal of trying to outmodel market makers and institutions is very, very difficult. And as I said, you want to learn what can go wrong not just what can go right. And again, that's why you use these models. Let me just uh, go back through it. I, Jake's given me has a question about the model itself. Sorry. Let's go back through that model. Just so everyone knows, what are the inputs? In the inputs in any model, from trading currencies, I have current exchange rate, strike price, time left until expiration, risk-free rates of the base currency, the quote currency, and volatility. And that is going to give me my theoretical value of an option. So there are a couple things that are not fully certain. One, actually it's really three things. We don't know where the rates are on the base for certain, the quote for certain, and the most important thing we don't know is what the volatility is going to be in the future. So if you, as a trader, as a self-directed investor, felt that you have some clue on those couple inputs, and then probably the most important part of that is volatility, uh, then you might want to seriously, seriously consider certain option strategy. So I hope that helps, Jake. Let me get back to options pricing and sort of the theory behind it. And we talk about how important volatility is. Well, where do we get that volatility? Well, let me use a, uh, a practical example of women's heights age 18 to 24, we can come up with the average of, let's say, 65 and a half inches. Then we can come up with a standard deviation of two and a half inches. All that really means is the variance from the mean. 
So I can get an average and then a variance from the mean. And according to statistics, one standard deviation is going to be 68%. Two standard deviations will be 95%. So 1%, if I knew the average was 65 and a half inch, inches and my standard deviation was 2 and a half, well then 68% of all women are going to be somewhere between 63 and 68 inches. If I wanted to look at 95%, then I would just say 5 inches either way, or between 60 and a half and 70 and a half. So we need to understand where the average is, the mean, and then we look at the very sort of tall or the very short. Okay, now you're probably wondering, what's Steve talking about? Talking about women's heights, I want to know how I can trade these currency options. What, is, what, are, what do women's heights have to do with currency options? Well, if you understand, understood that example, you're going to know that it's very similar in currency options. What I'm trying to, what I initially, the market tries to do is come up with a mean. So the mean, of course, um, is essentially today's exchange rate where it is today. So if I'm looking at AUM, AUM closed, I believe, at 89.11. That would be your exchange rate. Then I could figure out a standard deviation the standard deviation, all that, where that comes from is looking at X number of days back and saying, okay, so, well, some days it was 87, some days it was 94. You can come up with a standard deviation. And we can figure out one standard deviation from that today's price, two standard deviations, and so on. And we can also look at the downside. And this is how the calls and puts get priced based on the potential for movement. So here's a great screenshot from a site called LiveVol.com. They do some amazing work on volatility. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I would go to LiveVol. Uh, I think it's really one of the best ones out there. Uh, and they actually will break down volatility into different front time frames. So when I took a screenshot a couple weeks ago, volatility was 14%. You see that in the upper uh, IV30, 14%. And then if you look to the right, the 60-day vol was also 14%. The implied volatilities actually tell you how cheap or expensive the options are at any one moment. So we all know we're trading the, the currency value, but when we're trading options, it's a derivative. So that it's derived from the price, the exchange rate, but the options are going to be based on supply and demand. So sometimes they're going to actually trade at higher premiums. Sometimes they're going to trade at lower premiums. So you want to understand how these premiums really work. Uh, and again, the options pricing helps you understand all this. So get, you, if you want to learn more about uh, Volatility, you can go to livevol.com. Great place to learn more about volatility. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.